London is preparing for an art-packed weekend. With the Royal Academy of Arts at the center, it's a huge collaboration between auction houses, restaurants and fashion labels. Opening up in one of the city's more upmarket districts, Mayfair Art will include talks, walks and a host of other events. Belle Lupton's been for a preview. London's Mayfair, one of the most exclusive and expensive districts in the city and indeed the world. For one weekend only, Mayfair is being transformed. Mathilde Nivet is the artist behind this installation. I often work on window displays for big fashion houses. I really wanted to work with the theme of birds again because it feels like they represent living people. There's an animated, almost cartoon side to them that I like. And I like the parallel between the passers-by, who pass in their hundreds in this arcade, and London's birds, which are always visible, despite being discreet. It's all part of Mayfair Art Weekend, during which more than 60 art galleries and auction houses will be opening wide their doors for a series of special events. This year, the Royal Academy of Arts is playing a pivotal role in the rebooted weekend. The Royal Academy is going to be a hub for the weekend. It's a place, this courtyard will be filled with, with grass. There's going to be big bean bags here for people to congregate in. We're going to have workshops by a young group called the Bedroom Artists Collective, really getting people to engage in the making process of art. We really wanted to assure that alongside these the big names who are shown in Mayfair, we're giving a platform to the younger emerging artists as well. One of those emerging artists on show this weekend is Adele Morse. She graduated a few years ago from the Royal Academy of Arts. It's really exciting to be a part of Mayfair Arts Weekend. Yeah, I definitely think it's a springboard for, well, I, I have no idea what opportunities can come from this, but it's definitely a great place. It's got great footfall. Adele's installation in Burlington Arcade is the culmination of five years of research into a mythical creature supposedly hiding out in the Indonesian rainforest. She went to Sumatra in search of the Orang Pendek. I was really sceptical before I went and then as soon as I felt that first footprint, you know and you start to realise like how those stories happen where someone has a sighting and they don't take a photo, you start to realise how easy that actually is when you're in that environment. Yeah, I 100% now believe that it exists. All the resin sculptures have hair samples from the jungle inside them. So when we came back, we had about 150 hair samples. Yeah, I kind of like this idea that if those are the only genetic samples that could prove that they're now encased in this kind of effigy of the animal. It's not just art galleries taking part, there'll also be fashion and food, with a Damien Hirst inspired menu at one restaurant and group shows at another. And leading fashion brands like Max Mara are also going to be taking part. They're going to have a sculptural installation here in their Mayfair store. Highlighting diversity beneath the multi-million dollar apartments and amidst luxury brands might still seem like a stretch. Bell Lupton, TRT World, London.